So you found a great deal and bought a laptop over the holidays, but it turns out it's not that great of a computer. Is there anything you can do? Well, I visited Sandia Computers to find out. So I got a gift as a computer this past season. Guru Stu's the man that's going to help you out because there's nothing worse than sitting down and it's not working. Well, right now we're finding out that 31% of all new computers that you buy at a big box store are dead in the box. That's the first thing. Of the ones that work out... Oh! Well, there's another example. Uh, of the ones <laughs> that do work, 57% of those have a major hardware failure within the first 90 days. And of those that work after that, one out of four of the ones that are left will die in the first year. That's uh, a lot that, of computers. That sure is. And so buying a cheap computer, you get what you pay for. Now, mm -hmm. last year, because so many people received cheap computers for their for the holidays, right. our service department was absolutely slim. Because <laughs> if you ever try and get service from these guys, it is virtually impossible. So people went out and bought a four, five, six hundred dollar laptop. They ended up spending another two, three hundred dollars to fix it. It's still a cheap computer, but at least they didn't throw all their money away. Right. Sometimes we even get parts in that are for the computers that are more expensive than what the computer's worth. Oh, no. And so it's it's easy for uh, us to tell the customer, you know, it's not worth fixing. Sure. Well, it's under warranty. Well, too bad. Go try and get it. Right. You know, it's it's almost virtually impossible. Here's an example. This is a, a relatively new HP. It's one of the new designs that they just came out with for 2009. This particular customer brought it in. It had a bad hard drive. It had a bad screen. And the jack that plugs into the power cord yes. broke. Oh, so no. all three of those things caused this customer. And this was an $899 computer. This was not necessarily a cheap computer. But they spent another $475 no. to fix no. this computer. It's technically still under warranty. But they couldn't get anybody to help them. So that they either send it to the factory for four to six weeks and get it back and it still doesn't work right. or bring it to somebody like Sandia Computers and we can get it up and running for okay. you. Because when you start buying these kind of components, which are LCD screens, yes. these can range in price anywhere from 350 to over a thousand dollars depending on the laptop that you've got. Wow. And so what we want to do is we want to make sure that you buy good quality screens. These kind of screens here are the cheapest thing money can buy. So they end up with what they call little dots on them. Yes. Those are called dead pixels. So if you notice your laptop having dead pixels or the cheap LCD that you bought at the store, having those spots on it, little colored spots, mm -hmm. those are dead pixels. And of course, everything we sell here at Sandia Computers is guaranteed zero dead pixels. So we well, want to make sure you never have that Well, problem. you know, when you're, you're shopping and you're looking for a good bargain and they say, well, you know, we're reducing our price, especially nowadays when everything's on sale, how do you know if it's worth the money or not? Well, basically, you, you need to shop around, number one. Mm -hmm. Number two is, is that if you find like a $1,200, $1,300 computer and it's on sale, there's no problem for folks to go ahead and buy the machine if they think it's a good deal. Bring it by the store. We'll give them a free evaluation oh, of what the computer is, is and what it has in it tell you a little bit and if it's a nice machine for the money we're going to tell you to keep it but we're also going to introduce ourselves to you so that you know we have one of the finest service departments and we can get parts for all brands all makes all models of laptops going back to 1986 wow so if you if your power supply gets chewed up by your dog or your yeah. cat or like like you just showed here right your cd-rom drawer breaks or something along those lines feel free to bring it by We'll be more than happy to give you an estimate and let our technicians install it for you. Okay. Well, then come on down to Sandia Computers. If you have any questions, get yourself a new one if you care. Yep. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marianne. Sandia Computers is located at 3625 Wyoming Northeast, or you can give them a call at 332-7777.